plus the fellas in the state baseball tournament because it has been a long run with all the weather delays so far this spring. Fortunately, we are now closer to a crown in the 4A state baseball tournament. Pueblo West and Cheyenne Mountain today, an elimination game for the Indians, but West assured of at least one game tomorrow for the 4A title. Let's go to the bottom of the fourth. Pueblo West bats got hot. Runners on for Jaden Cordova, rips that one down the line and left. That'll bring home a run. Cyclones go up 2-0, and they would stay hot in that half. Two-out rally is one of a kind. Dylan Geist ripping that one into right field. That RBI single will score another for Pueblo West. Five runs on four hits in that half inning alone for P. West. Gave him a 6-0 lead into the six. And this is where things got interesting. Julian Lucero sat. Cyclone Rivers would like this half inning back. They loaded the bases and walked four consecutive runners to make it 6-4. And then Aaron Burkoff changes all of it. The junior with a rip into left field. That'll get back to the wall. That is a three-run RBI triple. And they take a 7-6 lead in the top of the sixth. And they will play another game. Cheyenne Mountain with a 7-6 win over Pueblo West. Um, my coach told me that he believed in me and that um, he wants me to hit the first pitch, and that's what I, what I thought when I went up to the plate and I hit it. I'm just still hyped. I can't believe we, we came back from that, so I'm still hyped. I'm probably going to be all um, still hyped the whole, the whole night. I probably won't get any sleep. <laughs> Cheyenne Mountain will play Valor tomorrow in an elimination game at 10 a.m. at All City Field. The winner of that game will play Pueblo West for the state title. All teams left have one loss on their tournament record, all games played at All City Field. Well, in